What's up, guys? Far too many times I have been on the internet when I was first starting to stream, trying to figure out what were the best settings for OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS as far as encoding, as far as bitrate, as far as how do I set this up what's right for me. So many times I went to other people's channels and I got settings that were just completely wrong or just didn't work for me because what they don't tell you is that it is different for every single person and I'm going to show you in this video exactly why right after the intro. All right, guys, so a lot of you who want to get into streaming ask me every day, how do I do this with the bit rate? What do I do as far as the settings go, right? Um, one big part of it and the biggest part of it is what resolution should I use? Uh, how do I know what bit rates to put? Do I even mess with that? Yes, bit rate is huge when it comes to your streams. I've had people, especially on my YouTube stream, which doesn't really have so many of the restrictions as Twitch does. With Twitch, if you're not affiliated, you can only do 6,000, okay? You have 6,000 kilobytes, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So when you go into Streamlabs, let's say you're using Streamlabs, right? And you open the settings page, okay? When you go to output, this is very important, okay? Now you're gonna see all this grayed out right now, that's because I'm currently using Streamlabs to record this video. However, you guys see my bit rate? My bit rate's at 40,000, okay? Now, I am blessed through God enough to be able to do that because I have fiber internet. So here's the biggest thing. Here's the guide on how to figure out how and what number to punch in here and how much your internet can handle as far as how clear your video is going to be on YouTube. Now, if you're on Twitch and you can do 6,000, that's as far as you can go anyway. If you go to an affiliate status, you can do 8,000, but that's not very much better to be honest with you. When I look at my stream on Twitch and I look at my streams on YouTube, the difference is night and day. The clarity on YouTube looks like people have actually accused me of not even really being live. That's how clear it is. Okay. So I'm going to show you how exactly to figure out this number for you. Now here I went to speedtest.net. Uh, it's speed test by Ookla. You can use any internet speed test. They're pretty much all, you know, very similar. All right. Now, when I test it, you can see here that the first result it's going to give you is your download speed. Okay. Your download speed is important because that's your connection. You know, it's it's just it's how fast your internet is, how fast you can download things, blah, blah, blah. We already know down. That's why it's called the download speed. That's how quickly you can download speed. Now you can download speed. That's how quickly you can download files and things like that. So at this point, according to my readout, I can download at a rate of 898.43 megabits per second. All right. As far as my upload, according to this, it looks like it's going to probably top out around the same thing. Now, that's the benefit of having fiber. OK, recently switched over and it's been the best thing in the world. I can comfortably stream um, at a very high bit rates to platforms that allow that. Now, here's the thing. You see this number right here? That is the number, guys, that you need to use to determine what you're going to put into this slot right here when you're setting up your stream. All right. So, for example, I like to do the thousand rule. OK, let's just say here, let's let's let, for the sake of simplicity, let's bring up a notepad okay? and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. Right. So I like to do the thousand rule. All right. So according to this, I got 800 and let's just let's just round it. Let's say 890. OK, 890. So I like to add the thousand rule. So if I said 890, then add the thousand. So one, two, three zeros. OK, so technically, if I wanted to, not that I would try to, um, because you do start getting a diminishing return, right? Which is to say that when you um, stream past a certain bit rate, it's not going to even be visible to the naked eye anymore. So whether I'm streaming at 40,000 or 60,000 or 800,000 at a certain point, you start not even to see the difference in clarity anymore. Right. So according to this, because my my Internet and I know that my streaming PC could handle it, I could stream at 890,000 kilobits per second, but I'm not going to do that. I mean, 40,000 has been so clear. It looks like a regular uploaded video anyway. OK, so let's say you guys tested it and let's say you're like on another Internet service provider where your upload speeds are not matched with your download speeds. Let's say you're getting an upload speed of uh, constant. OK, let's say you tested and your your average is around, let's say, an upload speed of 20. Right. OK. So you get 20 and you know that it's usually around 21 or 22, but 
you want to be safe you don't want to you don't want to start losing frames right because if you if your bit rate isn't right guys you'll start to lose frames your, your stream will start to look choppy so let's say it's 20 now you add the thousand theoretically you can stream at 20,000 kilobits per second to the internet now again guys this is very platform dependent okay on youtube you can get away with this on twitch you cannot i've tried going past 6,000. um i've tried doing 6500 whatever i tried 20,000. i've tried so many different numbers they won't the stream just it will not stream they will not allow it um the the encoder enforcer settings are very very prominent in twitch so they won't allow it i don't know why they're there so that's why when you guys look at twitch streams and then you look at youtube streams you can see the difference in clarity um so that's that's how you do it guys if your stream if you're if you're getting an upload speed of like 8 or 12 okay well i it usually comes out around 12 so guess what i'm gonna put in twelve thousand. now give yourself some headroom here guys if you are getting a constant speed of like let's say 12.5 or 12 do like 11 or 10 keep it safe because sometimes your speeds can dip right especially if there's a lot of people on or whatever depending on your internet service provider um so that's the rule guys that's the rule that i found works for me and the reason i'm making this video is because so many times i i i would say okay what's a good bit rate and then i would try something that someone else put on their video and guess what it looked like crap or then i would put one that didn't work before i changed it in a service provider and i would put one that was a little bit higher and then i was losing frames so i figured out that that's what i could get away with so when you test your speed guys this speed right here doesn't even matter okay it does not matter your download speed it matters obviously for you but when you're a streamer a content creator and you want that really fluid really clear picture and you have the upload speed that you can do it this is the number that you want guys you want to do it as much as you can if your upload speed is only like eight or ten then you want to keep it around that you take that one first number if, if this is right here it's 894 because again i'm blessed through the grace of god i was able to find an internet service provider whose upload speeds match their download speeds but if it was like the way that i was before where i was getting like 20 i would take that number and i would make it like maybe twenty thousand. I, I would get like anywhere between 21 and 22 for upload speed so i just i said you know what let me just take the safe number do 20 and then put the thousand behind it right if you're getting an upload speed of two then you do two thousand you know what i mean um not that i would hope anybody has a upload speed that low but you know in today's day and age i'm sure that it's still possible um, however, that's kind of my guide to the upload speeds, guys. Now, all this other stuff, recording, you can put this number as high as you want. Here's the thing about your recordings. This is not internet dependent, okay? The recordings are going to be really dependent on how strong your graphics card are, how much VRAM you have left over, uh, how good the GPU is. If you have an extra graphics card, you can use it and you can come down here and say, I want GPU number two, which would be here. GPU zero is your first graphics card. GPU two is, I'm sorry, GPU zero is your first graphics card gpu one is your second graphics card okay so that's how it starts to start from zero one two so two would be three three would be four and so on and so forth so this bit rate right here you can put as high as you want as hard as as high as your graphics card can handle and that's you know then those will be so clear it'll be it's ridiculous um and then here's are just the normal things that you guys i'm sure already know the browse this is where your path is going to be saved to your replay buffer um this is what you enable if you want to push a hot key or something on your stream deck so that it can save the last i do 30 seconds because i have an instant replay scene but right here is the bread and butter guys you want to keep your rate control at cbr that's a constant bit rate okay you don't want it fluctuating all over the place um especially for my twitch streamers because you can only do 6,000. i see in obs studio that mine goes up and down but i know that only 6,000 kilobytes of that is making it to twitch consistently so i'm not you know i don't worry about it again guys i do 40,000. i can do significantly higher than that but what i've noticed is that for streaming it's so clear that there's no reason for me to go any higher than that. I probably I used to do 20,000 and it was clear, but now that I'm able to enjoy the fact that I'm able to go higher, I do that. Yeah, that's just a, you know, a quick and dirty guys. Um, my other general settings are very, you know, they're I, I start my stream replay buffer when I start. Um, yeah, all this other stuff is pretty it's pretty default guys. My stream, this one is to YouTube. Um, my output you guys have already seen um, mostly about the bit rate audio is just my line in because this is my streaming pc so the line in is the one that comes from my go xlr sound mixer and goes into the line in the back of my streaming pc my video i don't rescale anything guys everything's a 1440p 32 samples for the uh for the lang so sharpening scaling um common sps values and 60 is the highest you can go because that's what you can see on youtube anyway or twitch or anyone i don't know if anyone that even goes past 60 fps 
um the hotkeys are just you know programmed this is like the hotkey that i have programmed to my my stream deck or whatever and that's just to save the replay because i need that um and the advanced guys i leave alone the, the advanced the, I, I make this a high priority and i put the color space to 709 and full otherwise uh your 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 stream will come out like much more dull um and not to say that it'll look bad it's just that the colors won't be as rich they won't be as defined they won't they, they won't pop as much as they do if you leave the default is 601 and partial i always i put all of my video sources to 709 and full um and everything else i pretty much left alone if i can remember yeah i mean all this other stuff i don't have a delay yeah i, I, I don't have a yeah that, there's a retry delay i don't know why i guess that's if your stream like disconnects and then tries to reconnect other than that guys i don't have a game overlay my scene collections this is just for backing up notifications you know this is just your, your normal boilerplate stuff remote control i don't even know what that's for but yeah this is uh that's pretty much it guys so if you have any other questions please feel free to let me know i will always reach back out to you guys i really appreciate uh all the support i'm you know hopefully god willing uh, approaching the uh, 500 subscriber mark and at that point i will be doing a giveaway guys please stay tuned for more on that we will speak more on that as the time approaches i'm gonna go ahead and i will talk more about what the giveaway will be how you can enter and stuff like that but until you guys remember that Jesus loves you, man. He died on the cross for all of us. Living for him is a no brainer. Please be blessed. Be good. Be safe. Treat each other right. And I'll see you when I see you. Hey!